The common pickaxe. Your insults are as weak as Trump's approval ratings right now. At least try harder if you want a shot at dethroning me. First of all, Sleepy Joe, you sound like a damn toddler trying to make up words. Secondly, the comedy pickaxe, your jokes are weak and pathetic, just like Biden's mental capacity. Warning, there are some jokes on this podcast that people may find offensive. If you are easily offended, we suggest that you turn off this program now. You've been warned. Have fun. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> What's up, Cyberspace? Welcome to a very special episode 90 of the Comedy Pickaxe, the Halloween show. I am your Squid Games host, Walden Scott. With me today, doing live costume reveals, is Bijan Ranjbar. What's up, magical fireplace? <laughs> Fucking brilliant! And Krista! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice! Guys, you look fucking cool! Bijan, so I, I, look- I'm wearing a mask for a purpose because I wanted to see how pretty I look with the mask because apparently I look prettier with the mask on because when I take it off, <laughs> it's a little bit different. Holy shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, that's not, no. It's so strange seeing Bijan like, without glasses and with hair that isn't like... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so the dress, is, the dress is quite normal, right? <laughs> Wait, is it Princess Peach? No, I am a sleeping beauty. Uh, you know, you know what I would say right now. Stephanie would be proud. <laughs> yes, yes. And Chris, Stephanie did get to see this because she had to help me previously when I was trying this on. So, oh, okay. Wow. Because it's 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 laced up in the back. Oh, oh you whore! Really? <laughs> you complete yeah. whore. Ha, that's disgusting. Would you would you like me to step back so you can see the full the full dress? I think I think we definitely need to see the full costumes. Yeah, Come we on. definitely. This is the first oh, and only time I that we pull the chair out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Vagina being a corset. There's definitely a corset in there. No, actually, that's the reason I was able to save time <laughs> is because I don't have to wear the corset. I was able to fit the dress without the corset. Give and us like, a twirl, I even have magical... Give us a twirl. <laughs> back. See? Is... Yep. That's cool. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> it's actually, on a side note, it is my favorite Disney princess. So I've been wanting to do that. I wanted to do this like two years ago, but then COVID happened, and getting the dress was a was a thing. So this his dress was not cheap. So I bet. I bet. He's even playing with his hair. Chris, you seen it? like, oh. I know, right? Uh, hey, have <laughs> to fix it. And Chris, who are you dressed as? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, that's a funny story. I'm I'm dressed up as the garbage man today. Oh, there you are. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Are you dressed up as homeless Kermit the Frog? Who's that? I, I don't know yeah. this character you're dressed as. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, I obviously am the Joker. Um, wow. I, I went with the Heath Ledger, uh, Ledger uh, Joker. I wanted to t- capture that the best way I could. Next year, though, I got a different plan for a different comic, so gonna be great you yeah. guys you guys have put real effort into your costumes like, we did <laughs> i did too i even have a prop see to make it easier oh wow you're gonna ride that somewhere later on <clears throat> no that's maleficent so it's just to so you know which princess i am oh, sorry I, i'm having a real hard time seeing out of this mask right now. <laughs> i think you did last time you wore this for a different uh different show i think so yeah yeah did i yeah, well, you were like trying to wear it. You just wore. I didn't think you had the full hoodie. You just put the mask on, yeah, to show uh, us and stuff like that. And you were like, I cannot, I can barely see anything with this damn thing on. It's it's got like two. It's got like two holes here. That's it. But it's so like it's quite airtight because of my beard. Like, can you see this on camera? If I breathe in, watch. <laughs> it's, it's so sweaty in here. This is the effort we are nice. putting in for you guys. I hope you appreciate this, Twitch. Yeah, I did put the corset on today because this was that was just too much work. How uncomfortable is the corset? I, oh my god! Actually, you know what? I think I actually, honestly, to tell the truth, I had to look this up because I, when I took it off, 
I had, I suddenly I had to take a shit and oh my God, my bowels just emptied. Like I, and I heard there's actually people say they can actually get diarrhea and shit from wearing a corset, but like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was, it's, it's a bitch to put on because I, I am not, uh, I am not a waif of a man. So, <laughs> but, uh, can we get a Bajan style corset, corset on our merch store? And just say, yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. Actually, yeah. to tell you the truth, diarrhea. you know where I got the corset? <laughs> Stephanie. I figured I yeah. was gonna. She so never surprised. wore it. She got it, but she never wore it. So I was like, okay, well, all right, let me try this on. Fix my necklace. How long does it take to put a corset on? Isn't that like twenty minutes of like? Uh, no, no, it depends on it depends on how long you can or how hard it is to put the corset on. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like, well, it's getting the first hook is the trick. <laughs> That's what you need. Mates. After that, it's just a it's just constant stretching and 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 praying to God. So, <laughs> but so there's a deity you don't believe in. Yeah, so that's why I don't know if you saw in the back, it's a little bit crossed, uh, laced in yeah. the back. So I actually, my, my hair might have been brought up blocking it, but uh, I saw it packed into it, Vijay. Yeah. Pulling strings. I am. Down. <laughs> so you guys, no, have, yeah. you guys have got real good costumes, which have taken time. Yeah. Especially, I'm looking at Chris's makeup. That takes even more time. That's fucking crazy. Are you like? I your... actually am wearing makeup as well. Oh, your your skin's so see. flawless, I can't tell. I'd like to say I can see that, Bajan, but I have no... I, I know, no, I know, you, you can't, but I, I have actually have mascara, well, I have uh, foundation, I, I have blush. Yeah, I see it. I, I can see it. Yeah. The, I don't... I'm, I, I know I'm a white-ass guy, but I'm not usually this fair, so... Youthful. But this is... Uh, my, my chest is white, but... I still haven't perfected it, because I still want to figure out how to... I, I actually bought these things, but I, I didn't use it, because it was taking forever... I kept telling Lena, it's going to take a while, it's going to take a while, and she's like, no, no, it'll take me like 10 minutes to do your makeup. It took like fucking a half, at least a half an hour, just to just just to put fucking base and blush and eyeliner on. Oh, fuck. But... Because you've never practiced it. Actually, these are also... Oh, they kind of faded. My eyebrows are done, too, so those are not my real eyebrows. <laughs> so. So, you've put, so, Chris, how long did your makeup take? Uh, probably about, I would have to say half an hour to 40 minutes. Holy hell. Yeah. Um, that takes a long time. Yeah. yeah. We wanted to make sure that we got like the, you know, we didn't just want to, you know, just go just make it look like there was no effort. We, we actually put the lines in there and we, you know, try to put the wrinkles and everything in there. So <laughs> I went and, to put the wrinkles and, on and then realized I already so, had them. So <laughs> you can't see this Bijan, here's my here's my thing uh you know uh Bijan, uh saw a uh a, a couple photos of the the actual wig and everything yeah. now does it look like it, it like it's supposed to now because i i thought oh, did, oh you you actually did you actually trim it a little yes i can tell yeah it does look better i, I agree Mm -hmm. It does. It does. So it looks a lot uh, more, 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 uh, like uh, movie accurate to the length. That's a good but, one. but that's yeah. I, uh, I, I understand. It's because I remember his hair was way more curly. But I, that's a bitch. I mean, I, I gotta figure. out. I wonder how I could even brush this thing because it looks okay, but it's actually pretty nappy at the time. So <laughs> it's it's really hard to. It's but it's got the the, the nice little the nice little curls and everything like that. So it's you know what's nice. funny. You know what's funny about this. It, 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 you're like, well, so it has this and it has this, and you know, I mean, seriously, this is actually pretty a decent, decent wig though to match Aurora's hair. It's actually done to match her hair, I think. It's actually Aurora's wig. You know, so, I can picture Bijan doing this, you know, like like getting dressed up like this when he's having a bad day and he wants to feel pretty. So he puts this shit on. He's like, I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. <laughs> no, see, that wouldn't be appropriate. It's someday my prince will come. Fucking hell, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Actually, I know we're gonna get in trouble with Disney, but hey, so, but <laughs> no, hey, no. it's Halloween. Fuck you! I am, I'm Aurora, bitch. <laughs> Is that what she says? <laughs> That's a Disney so, quote, folks. <laughs> I'm Aurora. Straight from the bitch. movie. Do we have anything going on this past week? Uh, do, do we have anything going on when it comes down to Halloween and everything for you guys? I mean, I... Oh, 
Well, like I was talking to Chris earlier, the, the yesterday I was at the because of the family function. That's why I'm here in Sacramento. They they had a family little Halloween party, and they had a costume party, and Ooh. I won. Uh, and I actually won some money and stuff, and so I had to tuck it in here. Oh my god! <laughs> actually, I was, I was trying to hand it to Lena, going, "Lena, I don't have any pockets in there." And then they were like, uh, "Us ladies, we put it in our chest." So I'm like, "Okay, fine." <laughs> How much money did you win? I think it was not, not much. It's like a ten dollar gas card, which is actually is a fucking a lot of gas. It's not that much gas anymore, but it's <laughs> worth it. But uh, and like, and I can't remember like ten bucks. I think so. Congratulations! It was just it's a family friendly thing, Who but actually I kept. I was up. Somebody who did. Have you guys ever seen the movie uh, Every Anything or Everything Everywhere All at Once? That's no, a mouthful. No, no, it's an Asian film. But there was a, a scene in it where they they're like kind of making fun of Ratatouille, but it was Rakakuni. So it's like a guy who finds like a stray raccoon and it's under his hat and it's pulling his hair in order to do it and stuff like that. So somebody dressed up as Rakakuni. Wow. Somebody was also Arthur from the kids show. Somebody was uh uh. So actually, one of her older brothers was like had a pretty cool skeleton costume, but he left just to go to a rave. So um, uh, I forget who else yeah. did we have. Oh, Sailor Moon. Some of the, a lot oh. of the guys in the family don't dress up because they're kind of like, oh, I'm you know, I'm 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 a man and I'm I, man, I have I like gotta, I have responsibilities I and I can't I can't it's 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 not my it's not my time I can't yeah yeah. It's no. kind of like yeah, I, yeah, my my penis is too big to dress no, up in costume. I, I, I can't get my penis. So, uh, so yeah. up dressed as a lady. He's like, I'm a Disney princess, and he's like, oh, fuck. well, see, my penis is small enough that I can dress like a lady. It's okay. <laughs> wow! So congratulations on winning so, the costume contest. I did. I kind of had a feeling because honestly, when I I was late for like dinner and everything because putting this shit on because, but uh. Um, when I came out, everybody was like shocked. <laughs> everybody was, oh my god! And so, like, when they did a little thing that, like, we had to uh, to introduce ourselves, and so, and like, it was funny. Everybody was kind of like, you know, like, oh, I'm this, or like doing like little scenes from it. So I, I took the thing and I came up. And I said, well, I'm 17 years old, <laughs> and I'm hoping that one day, and I sang some someday when my prince will come. I'm 17 years old with a goatee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A seventeen-year-old girl with a goatee. You should be. Yep. Really, you should be in the circus. You know. See, weird Lita was saying I should have shaved this off, but I'm like, I look, I look way too weird without a goatee. That I mean, it's it's more pat after the fact of the costume that I didn't want to have to go back to not having a goatee for a while, even though it grows in a lot faster. It was it became a pain, like when I had to shave for for my. But hey, yeah. it's already coming back in. And so, I shaved like yesterday. So what are you going to spend your ten dollar gas card on, Bajan? Oh, you know, <laughs> I think I think I'm going to find some like better makeup and and oh, maybe no. you know. <laughs> and actually, you know what? Unfortunately, it is that time of the month, so I need some feminine hygiene. Oh products, yeah, you know, yeah. So. Well, can't you get Alina for that? She, she can help you. Yeah, out. I, I, well, I know, but if she didn't have any, and you know, I don't want to start. Bleeding all over the place. No, I'm kidding. Uh, wow, it's just like Disney Plus. This isn't it? Hey, you get all... <laughs> these are the deleted. No, that scenes was a from... quote. That was that was a quote from something else. Uh, what was that from? All the women. That was uh, that was a movie where like oh that was a uh, Monty Python. Sorry. When yes. they're leaving the restaurant, it's like yeah. and, and it's like I'm having a rather heavy period. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and, they go, and we have a train to catch, and I don't want to start bleeding all over the seat. <laughs> oh God. That's oh so God! Gross. <laughs> Chris, what's your Halloween plans in your cool costume? Well, okay, okay. So uh, this, uh, like, okay. So like on Wednesday, um, this past Wednesday, we went to a um, Halloween parade. Um, Kelly's daughter Logan was, is in the band, so uh, the school band did a parade with other school bands and and um, the fire department. And so we were able to go down there uh, and uh, dress in costume, you know. And uh, yeah. so me and Kelly did. Kelly was Harley Quinn, of course. And uh, and so we went down there, and there was a lot of cool people down there. There was this one guy. Uh, he took a photo with us. He wanted, he, you know, he was like, oh, can I take your photo? Can I take a, can, can we take a photo with me? And I was like, oh, yeah, you know. And there was it was just, it was great because it's like, 
I didn't think anybody would want to take a photo with us. I mean, it's the yeah. only time you actually take photos, like it was my experience, is it's like okay, like something like this. If you're at a party with people that you know, well, there was other people there, and they're like, "Well, oh, great costume, oh, you know," and um, and some of the people that uh, were in the parade, um, like uh, they were dressed up in uh, attire as well. Some some people were like Batman and Robin and and the other Joker. So like, I would see somebody. I'd be watching the parade, but I would see like Batman or Robin. And I would just like just get up real close and be like, <laughs> "Hi, how are you?" <laughs> and that's then, um, And then Kelly would be standing there, and she has she's she's dressed in Harley Quinn, and she has her bat. And I'm not talking about like a prop. I'm talking like the actual replica bat from Jesus. Suicide Squad. And she's just going like this, you know. And it's like <laughs> people are just looking at us. Uh, it was it was fun. I, I, I um there was and it lasted from uh five thirty uh until I believe uh seven or seven thirty and it was nice. People were on the uh, in in their own seats and benches and watching a parade along the street. So what I would do is when I saw some older people and not I'm not talking like scary but I'm not talking about like in their eighties. But people that are like, I don't know, in their 60s, I, and I would see them just having fun, smiling, talking to each other. I would come over and sit down and not say a word. I would just look over at them like, you know, they'd be talking. So I'm like doing this, you know, <laughs> and, and they're looking at me and they're like, you know, they don't say anything. So I'm like, hi. And I was, that's, that's all I would do, you know, like, hi, how are you? And they would start talking to me and I'd be like. Mm. And I said, you're enjoying yourself. And this one couple said, yes, are you? And I said, this is the only time. Of course, of course I am. This is the only time a year where I'm allowed to dress like this. Every other time I got I to gotta be in costume. Today I get a chance to be normal, you know. So <laughs> it, it, was, it was great. And then, uh, and then yesterday, you guys are going to love this. <clears throat> so... We ended up going to uh, we ended up going to uh, this Halloween party. One of Kelly's friends had it at her house. Really nice person, really big house too. Um, okay. you know, so we get there and everybody is like, "Oh, we love your costumes. We really do. They're great." And we're like, "Thank you so much." This one friend of Kelly's friend, we don't, we didn't meet her until last night. She looks at us, and I'm dead serious. You know, you guys were joking around when you said, so Chris, what are you supposed to be? This girl, she's like, all right, I'm very bad at this. Oh, what are you no. guys supposed to be? What are you guys supposed to be? And I was like... Really? I, 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 I just like... I said, come on. And she goes, no, really? And I'm like... You and said I, and I lost it. I, I, I lost yeah. it in a way that it wasn't It wasn't bad. It was more... And I said, are you fucking kidding me? Really? And she's like... She's like... <laughs> And I said, oh, listen, okay. Are you joking around? Because I understand this trick or treat. Ha, ha, ha. Are you, are you joking around? She goes, I honestly don't know. Were you joking around, Chris? And I said, the Joker and Harley Quinn. The Joker and Harley Quinn. <laughs> and she's like, oh. And I said. Did she know who that was? And I, and I said, do you, listen, do you, do you have any idea what I'm talking about? She goes, no, I I don't follow that stuff. I've I said, never seen Superman. I, yeah, you know. So I was like, I, I, you I've be never seen those Marvel movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, you're right, exactly. And I said, you gotta be kidding me. She goes, no, no, no. I, I, and like up until a few years ago, when I like <laughs> um, met my 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 boyfriend, I, I you know I never saw Goonies. I never saw um, like you know movies like Top Gun. I, I didn't know anything about you know uh, like uh, as you say, uh, you know you're the Joker and Harley Quinn. I, I don't I don't know anything about that. And I'm like, so did you ever hear this movie? No. Have you ever heard of Ferris Bueller? No. Have you ever heard of? Uh, and then I'm like, come, please tell me, or I'm gonna have to go ballistic on this one. Did you ever hear Back to the Future? And she's like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, thank okay. God. What thank was she God. As, Chris? What, was she dressed as anything? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, she had a very, uh, very uh, in-detailed costume, you know. Yeah. Uh, she had a nice, big, 
uh, orange no. shirt on. Yeah. And with the face of a jack o' lantern and, and some sort of freckles on her face that she put on there. I have no fucking clue what it was supposed to be. I guess, <laughs> you know, is it, you know, uh, I, I don't want to say, been. I don't want to say bad, but I don't want to say bad things about this woman. However, it You're seems to me that. like, uh, yeah, I can't help it. All right. You know, was that so, a character from Orange is the New Black? <laughs> I, it might have been. I, I don't know. So uh, this woman, she brought a karaoke machine, right? And to, to me, I do karaoke, but I wasn't in the mood of doing it. But, you know, uh, Kelly did it. And we brought Riley, uh, Kelly's daughter, her you youngest. You weren't in the mood to do karaoke. Why so serious? Yeah, why so serious? Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> Waiting for uh, that for fucking 20 straight minutes. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, but uh, the thing is, uh, so Roddy and, and Kelly, they sang, and uh, Lisa, the host, uh, she sang. And then it's this other woman's turn. She is, uh, she's, and you know what? She's a fantastic fucking singer. She is, she's fucking great. I don't this, know if you're this, being sarcastic. This imbecile. Now, right? This this fucking imbecile who doesn't know who the Joker Harley Quinn is. She's a fucking great singer. I mean, it's like one of those people that's like a fucking savant at something, you know. I mean, you can plain as day see that they're fucking they're fucking stupid as fuck, but they're always good at something. And you're like, how did you become this good if you're a fucking idiot? So, anyways, she she uh she's okay. Everybody's singing. Or she sings and everybody's amazed. We're like, oh my God, this is crazy, right? What was she singing? She is so good. She was singing like, um, I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. And she hit all the high notes oh. and it was like spot on. Okay. That's wow. how. Yeah. Did and some black so, guy run on a poncho to make it authentic? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, my point, guys, is you're all wrong. We were all blown away. Um, we were like, you know, that was amazing. And it was. And I'll be the first to say it was amazing. I, I'm not, I, I would not. It's you know, time to give up on the singing lessons and start watching some movies. <laughs> but here's what I really, this is what I really found annoying. When she was, when when somebody else was singing, whether it be Lisa or, or, um, or uh, you know, Kelly or Riley or whoever, mm -hmm. this, this, Oh, don't tell me she was singing along. She was, no, 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 even worse. We were in a garage. There was not too many people in there. And she's talking away. And then she's fucking talking away to people and laughing. And this is in a close vicinity, you know? It's not like she got up and went somewhere else. No, she sat there and watched other people sing. And she's being loud and she's laughing away. Ha, ha, ha. And I, I just, I, I'm, I'm looking like I, I'm trying to watch Kelly sing. I'm trying to watch Riley sing. Sing, and it's it's really important to me to see the both of them sing, especially Riley, mm -hmm. because she's 12 years old and she's putting her heart and soul into it. And I gotta listen to this woman yap, 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 yap. And I finally just look at her like this, you know, you know. And, and then I'm like, <laughs> and she just looks at me like what? And then I don't even say anything because I know I'm at somebody else's house. So I get up and I leave. I go in the kitchen, right? Yeah. And a few minutes later, Kelly walks in and goes, you're all right? And I'm like, yeah, I, I just had to get away from that bullshit. And she goes, what's the matter? And I say, well, I mean, let me tell you what's happening. Let me tell you what's the matter. We got uh, Miss Simpleton back there, who, you know, that sings, you know, I, I will always love you. She's not paying attention to you. She's not paying attention to Lisa. She's not paying attention to Ronnie. That really pisses me off. And so I was going off about this shit. I was going off about this. It, it, it was so bad. Where Kelly's like, "Calm down, just calm down." Like, and I was like, "I want to strangle this fucking woman." And so I told Kelly today or yesterday that I would talk about this. She's like, "If you need to talk about it and get it out of your system, then by all means do so." So uh, I'll say this. <sighs> You fucking narcissistic ignoramus. You know, when other people are singing, shut your fucking mouth. I hope, I hope right now that you have found this, okay? And you're looking at me the way that I am today. Because this is the face that you recognize from yesterday. Because if anybody else would have said this to you, I mean, if I didn't have the makeup on and I looked differently, you would have been like, oh, this holds no meaning to me. Well, let me tell you something, you fat fuck. You, you ignoramus. Pumpkin bitch. They don't. 
you don't fucking talk in a garage when other people are fucking, you know, like singing karaoke. You're not in a fucking bar. It's a different fucking in- environment, okay? So you don't do that shit, especially when a 12-year-old gets up there and starts singing her heart out and doing, you know, just you know, acting out uh, everything as she's singing. I mean, you don't do that, you fucking self-centered bitch. Anyway, <laughs> you should so have, that, you should have started uh, throwing eggs at it or silly string or something and be like, "Well, it's Halloween." No, I, 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 you know what? I wish I had something. I really wish I had something. Just be like, here, like a flower that squirts water. Like, come over here. Psst. You okay. know, I, I wish I had something like that. But I did. She was a jack o' lantern Christian. She just got a candle and shoved it up her ass. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No, you get be in character. You stab a pen into the table and make it disappear. Yes, I'm gonna make this here. Do you know when you Do you know when she said, "Oh, I don't know what character you are." You should have said, "Well, I'm obviously Zombie Willy Wonka." Duh. <laughs> and let it go round saying, "I've just met Zombie Willy Wonka in the garage." Well, I'm like, well, I just, I, I just, I, in a way, oh, oh God, Almighty, oh, you know, this is a fucking party, right? This is a fucking party. We get there. And we, you know, uh, we we sit down within the first fifteen minutes. After, I I have to sit down after hearing this idiot say, uh, "So tell me who you are." <laughs> For fuck's sake, what? You, now you're taking the wind out of my sails. I gotta sit down and I because I gotta con- I gotta think about how I'm gonna handle your ass. You know, I'm gonna deal with your idiocy the whole night. So I sat down and talked with this uh, the, this this couple, her and her and her boyfriend. Oh, what was he dressed as? Nothing. I said. Where's your costume? He goes, Aww. I'm scary enough. I don't need one. I'm like, uh-huh. okay. Uh-huh. And you know, uh, but I, I'll, I'll talk about him later. He he's a he's a he's a drug addict. He's a special case. Let's put it that way. Oh, does he go to community days? <laughs> I don't want to say yes. He runs community days. I don't want to say yes. He is the community. Does he have I a massive hands? I don't, I don't. Listen, uh, I'll put it this way: uh, we all have our issues. Uh, he has he has an issue and and that's what okay. is it too many chromosomes? Uh, uh l- listen, <laughs> the point that I'm trying to make is the point that I'm trying to make is we all have our issues and uh, he he definitely has something going on. But he is a great guy and I you know I talked with him for a while. He he's very funny. Um, but and if uh, you know and if he tries to show his face again without a costume, I'm gonna roll his goddamn wheelchair out of the bed. <laughs> I didn't say that, all right? And I'm not going to be responsible no, no. for shit like that. that. All right? And that's not the case. So I'm being serious. I know. I know. That's why I'm hoping it wasn't. If that turned out to be the case, I'd feel really bad. Yeah, well, we, don't right. anyway, we don't know who so this person is. We don't know who this person is. I have no jokes. idea. So yeah, listen, I'm just trying listen, to make a joke. I'll so. hide this medication. Right. So here's the thing, all right? We sit down. I'm I'm totally like baffled. I'm flabbergasted that this fucking woman doesn't know who the fuck we are, and I don't want to smack her upside the head because that's just too fucking easy, Chris, right? Before now. you say this, bit, was she was she a pumpkin or did she do what stupid women do where they go? I'm a sexy pumpkin. There was nothing. <laughs> she there was nothing sexy about her. Hey hey hey, Bijan, you remember my friend Colin? Do you remember what he looked like? Oh, Picture a female version of Colin. That's pretty mm-hmm. bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fuck you, Colin. Colin. Uh, I mean, no, I mean, for, you know, I was like, Colin, you know, I mean, I'm not saying that he, he's a, hit, a horrible guy. He, he's he's, he's a man. He, he, he's a man. <laughs> yeah, he would make a good so, woman. <laughs> so, like, so if Colin. I guess that's a compliment to a guy, I, I guess. No, here's the right? thing. Here's the thing. If Colin would dress up in drag, that's this woman that I met last night. Um, okay, so I was like, "This is Colin dressed in drag. This is a this is a bad drag moment for Colin." Um, but so we sat there and like this is within the first fifteen minutes, and this woman starts talking about depressing shit, like the death of her family, or like the death of her father, or death of her mother, death hey, of her father. It's Halloween. That's topical. I know. <laughs> No, it's not. It, you should have it, it, said, you know, I helped Batman have a death in his, death in his family. <laughs> that's a that's a geek pull. That's a total geek pull. You know, you're killing but this she wouldn't get party. it. She wouldn't get it. So, well, but, I know, I know. I, I, I was like, I, as, as she kept on saying this horrible stuff about her dad passed away, and, uh, you know, uh, this wasn't recent either. 
this has been, you know, going on in this woman's head. And don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. I know what it's like to lose a parent. It sucks. It, it's terrible. And for those of you who have been through it, you understand. But those of you who don't, who haven't, then, you, you know, you'll see later on. The fact is, though, I was doing everything in my power to get her out of this funk. And she was like, I, I think I really want to travel. I, I said, well, you should go. You should travel. And, and Kelly and I are just looking at each other like, this, this is supposed to be a fucking party. Not only did she ruin, like, the fact that our it was, like, our major surprise. We walk in. Everybody is like, oh, that was, that was a great costumes. And then it's like, I'm really bad at this. Who are you two supposed to be? Go fuck yourself. All right? That was, that was my immediate thought. And you should have said like, that. You should have just I, like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, you I'm just, bitch. and then it's like, I'm just joking. <laughs> Want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> I was, I was, I'll tell you how I got these scars. I was at karaoke, or I was at karaoke one time, and there was a big fat woman wearing a pumpkin shirt who was talking during a, during a 12 year old doing a, a fucking song. So I took a fucking beer bottle and I smacked it up against her head. Unfortunately, though, she grabbed it off of me and cut me on each side. But <laughs> you, you know, know I just. It's only at this point now that I've realized that Chris would probably make a real life great Joker. You know when Chris was ranting on about all sorts of crazy shit? And now seeing him in costume do it, I'm like, yeah, if if this was Chris every day, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's just Chris Starr. That's just what he's like. He's mental. He's fucking crazy. He's got, and I dragged a woman through the drive through window and I slashed this woman with a fucking beer bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I got a pile of dead women outside my house. It all no, no, I'm not fits. like that. It's very all. true. It does work like that. Yeah, you are real I, joker, uh, Chris. No, no, no. I am far from it. But I will say this: I was pissed. I was fucking pissed. I couldn't help myself. It's like, really? You, you, you know was, what? You hide it well. <laughs> I, I mean, no, no, I worked hard on this fucking emotion. costume. Seriously, I worked fucking hard on this fucking costume. Well, okay, you know what? To be, to be fair, as no, much as it annoys no, you, and it is annoying, no, 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 there no, are no, people no. out there who are completely ignorant to the, to the, to the, to the there would be, honestly, I could go to a costume party and people go like, who are you supposed to be? To me as well, too. And I'm like, even I if I'm holding it. fucking Maleficent in my hand. Huh? I just yeah, well, it. no, but you, you. You, but you were, yeah, I mean, but I, I mean, it's like, again, it's, it's, uh, it's for the people like who are, I feel like if I went to a Disney party, a Disney costume party, and I got uh, people asking me, who am I? That would be shocking. Kind yeah. of the same, the same thing. So, like, I guess, like, so, uh, yeah, but, but, but Bishan, okay, yeah, I get it. Okay. I, I do, but also, I, I always look at it in the opposite way as you, the opposite <clears> direction. <throat> I'm thinking, you're fucking 47 years old, God damn it. Where the fuck have you been? You know, what have you been doing your entire fucking life? And then she tells us this fucking story from fucking eight years ago, like it was yesterday. I don't even know how that came to be. I was just kind of like, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay. She okay. should have her own podcast. It's too yeah, uh, nonsense yeah. for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, so when did this story have? I mean, when did this happen? Uh, what, like a couple, like last year? She goes, oh, no. No, 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 it happened eight years ago. And I'm like thinking, well, since we're going way back, I'm going to talk about the Marilyn Monroe story, which I did, and everybody thought it was a hoot. You know, they thought it was story. great. It's a good story. Yeah. Go check out yeah. our best bits and hear Chris tell you about Marilyn Monroe. That's yes. That's fucking crazy. And I wish you'd have turned up on, on that day, Chris, and you were dressed as a Joker then as well. Because I just feel like your life would make so much more sense if you were just in this costume every day. <laughs> you just... If you... if if. If we bought a copy of your book and then we went to get it signed at a signing and I turned up and you were sat there dressed like this, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, makes sense. I get it now. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I mean, like I've I've thought of multiple things uh, when I do release it, you know, like how well, that's true to say multiple homicides. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that. No, no, no. I no. What I'm saying is, uh, I, I have thought of multiple ways to like make it. Uh, you know, people are like, "Have you shown up to one of his book signings?" Oh my god, it's amazing. It's Some crazy. of the stuff that it happens over there. You know, you should do so, a different character every single book signing. I should. I, I I think I think that would be like one of those things where it would be like people would really dig it. So. But Jan's also got to be in this costume behind you at every single one as like your PA. 
Uh, uh, uh. Back, people. Back. One person yeah. at a time. Yeah, and you've got to talk like Gaston. <laughs> Just like <laughs> Gaston. Hey. I, I, I will say... Hey. hey, back off, people. I will say that All this, right, is the next. First time, this is the first <laughs> time ever, if you if you think about it, guys, this is the first time ever that anybody's seen my eyes in, uh, in my... In oh, the, well, you're, you're practically wearing sunglasses at this point. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. This is the first time ever I'm not wearing sunglasses. You can actually. Well, hey, you know what? Why don't you put them on? Yeah, just, let's just see. So what does see the what Joker look like, like in yeah. shades? But we already saw the Joker with shades. You already know what it looks like. Yeah, but not this Joker. Let's see. Let's I see. Don't, oh, yeah. I, I don't have them here. <laughs> I can have. see. Bijan. No, I really <laughs> don't. I don't have like them. a high school maths teacher than more. You take the mask off and put the glasses on. You look. I don't. I don't no. have them in the studio, and I'm not going to get up and get them. The only I I okay. do have the other two sunglasses, but I, those are good, and I don't want to get makeup on them. You know, so fair enough. Now, no. I I have my costume today, which is I've had for ages. I didn't think I was going to be able to get a costume today, but I've got my pink shoulder, pink shoulder, pink soldier, Squid Games costume. I've had to take the mask off first of all for those who are watching on video because I. We're happy to notice. This is, oh, wait, uh, you took it off? Yeah, go fuck yourself. Um, so, <laughs> well, the reason the reason I've just took it off, right, is it's been sitting in a box for so long, and I was in such a rush today, I just took it out the box and put it on. I wiped the dust off the outside, but I don't think I cleaned the inside of the mask properly, or even at all. Now, as I had my mask on, it's filling up with moisture from breathing because there's no air <laughs> holes in it at all. And, like, literally, it lasted 15 minutes into the show. My eyes are burning, and I don't know what is inside this mask. But it was so hot, I couldn't see. I couldn't breathe. My face is all itchy now and all feel... Oh, so, so yeah, I've just got it on my boom stands just off shot here for you. That's okay. But... Should I take my wig off? Yeah, if you really want to. If you really no, want I'm to. kidding. You should swap with Chris. I'm okay. Um, now, I wish I could. That would be funny. I did have an actual costume planned. And I'm going to give my wife credit for this because it was her idea. And I just didn't have enough time to put some effort into finding all the props necessary for it. Because I wanted, if I was going to do it, I wanted it to be sewn together properly and have the exact right replica things and then everything I needed. But I just didn't have time to put it together. So my costume would have been, and I'm so gutted I couldn't do it. I was going to do half and half. I was going to do half Chris and half Bishan. How so wanted... are, you, are you kidding me, really? <laughs> so I wanted to get a pair of sunglasses like Chris's, but a pair of glasses like Bajan's and cut them both in half and stick them both together. So I was like, okay, that's this side is Chris and this side is Bajan. And then I was just going to do like half a goatee beard <laughs> and then nothing here. We'll probably dye it so I don't have to shave my beard off. I was going to get a black shirt and like a black hat, but then cut the hat in half and sew a half a wig to it like Bajan. <laughs> And I was just going to spend the show doing this and going, hi, this way, I'm Bajan. And then just turn around and go, hi, no, I'm Chris. <laughs> oh, and I didn't have time to put it together. But I thought, yeah, to, I thought I'd reveal it. Cause it Were you going to have like a flannel as half the shirt and yes. black shirt on the other side? I was going to do a black t-shirt <laughs> and I was going to sew it, cut it in half and sew it to a, like, a flannel t-shirt with like maybe a white underneath it or something on the other half. Yeah, I so got this. You know, that's too, that's too bad. That would have been kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, that would have been really good. That would have been good. It would have, but the more efforts I wanted to put, I was like, okay, right. So I need to make sure that I have the black t-shirt. I could do black t-shirt, white t-shirt, cut them in half, sew them together, and then just put like a flannel t-shirt over one shoulder. I'm like, okay, I could do that. But then I was like, I have to do the glasses. Then I have to figure out like the beard, and then I obviously have to add wrinkles all over because you know, just look at them. We're um, both old. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was gonna do like the beanie and like the and then half wig and I was like, okay, do I do like beanie or hat or something? And then they have to be in half and sew together. I was like, this is gonna take a good few days, which I just didn't have time to do. Honestly, and you probably should just do a regular wig and then like a the wig that works and then cut like half of it off and then just glue the beanie to the, the half of beanie to the top of the yeah, wig. That, that was... would be a little bit easier than sewing a beanie to a wig. Yeah, so. that is true. Yeah. But even yeah. to the point today where I'm going to work and my wife goes, I'm going out today to the shop. If I see like a wig and a hat, do you want me to pick it up and we'll do it later? And you guys saw how late we were getting the show together. I was like, I don't think yeah. we have time to put it together now. But it was maybe, crazy. Like... Maybe next year as a treat. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, you have all year to work on it. I mean, I, it took me two years to get this costume together. Yeah, so. see, see. So there's your treat. What? There's your treat. I, uh, well, because I, I, I was waiting for for the, I mean, I was ready to get it, but because again, like That's getting cool. the, I got the wig. I've had the wig for like a while. I had the necklace for a while. I didn't have the dress for the longest time. I, and honestly, technically, I couldn't find shoes because finding pink slippers was Wait, what I was trying to find. You got the shoes? Why we haven't seen these? No, shoes. I never, I never, I, I never got the shoes because I couldn't find uh, it. And I found like a bunch. I was even like at like like the discount stores and looking for like I found a bunch of pink shoes that I would love to wear, but finding them in a ladies' size thirteen is kind of pretty <laughs> difficult. So, <laughs> yeah, and I did. They're very hard to find in a menswear, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, you'd have to go to like I don't know forever 54 you have to go back to san francisco or in the polk yeah, street or something i was gonna say you should find loads around san francisco Every no san, shop, well right? now san francisco is no but san francisco is disgusting now so it's really really lost is it it's really a, it's a cesspool oh really? It, yeah i know it's 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 it, it felt it, it it's just it's just it has gotten really really bad it's wow. gotten like again like it's it's to the point where like even like i have like a friend who had family coming out from india or something from work and she was telling me how she didn't even really want to. She like she's taking her friends to work. There's only certain parts of San Francisco you want to have them visit, and almost none of them are in the city anymore. Oh, unless you go to museums or something like that. And is even it just, then, it's like don't look at the streets while we're until we get inside the building, kind of a thing. Is it so. just dirty, or is it just like full of? It, it's filthy. There's homeless people who are like, and the thing is, like, I remember I heard people that were like when we were on our cruise out of San Francisco. So, because like, that's the thing, I'm still going to go on another cruise out of San Francisco, but I'm just driving to the to the dock, and then yeah. I then I come back home. Uh -huh. The uh, there was like outside of like the like the some people were staying in the really nice hotels like the night before or whatever when they came in, and they're telling me that they saw people shooting up in the street from outside their windows and stuff like that in the nice district, what? in the nice part of town. Yeah, wow. because it's just gotten because drugs have gotten so bad, and like honestly though too, honestly, San Francisco, California is a very beautiful state. And there's so many nicer places to be homeless in. Like, because remember that was my one of my plans was to become homeless. <laughs> but the uh, I never understood but, that. I never did. Prince oh, okay, it, but it's it, it, it's it, I've explained it on the show I think before. I'm on, on the, another damn talk show before. Oh, no, but I it's like it, it's it's a plan. It's it's not really truly being homeless. It's just not having a home. I guess. I that's guess that's, homeless but, it's like, being homeless. but I know. But I'm not like gonna be. But I, but the problem is is that I have enough money that I could live. You know, like I'm camping for the rest of my life, but okay. But but off anyway, the grid. Off how would the grid, you do the show? Basically. Off the, off the grid. That's the thing. I would have to leave the show. So. Oh no! No no, that's not happening. No no no. no Field report. Not... Well, maybe you see, like maybe during my wanderings, I might end up in Pittsburgh. Oh, actually, which I would never want to go to if I'm homeless. That's fucking way too cold. Maybe <laughs> during the summertime, I'd I would I would find my way over to Pittsburgh, and then I could do a couple shows, and then. And, and, not, Chris Chris it, and then force him to feed me. That's nice. Huh? You're not a goose. Nice. You can't just like fly over to Pittsburgh for the summer and come back. Yeah. Uh, no, I'd walk. You would not walk to Pittsburgh. The great walk? Why you not? Would, you would do the great walk? Seriously, man. That that's crazy. Well, how long would that take? It would, I mean, because I'd have to start in the winter, yeah. but winter in California is not a big deal. And walking through the desert <laughs> in, in winter is probably not a big deal either. I'm find this as long as I have enough water. I don't know. Um, it, might, it might take like maybe a year. You know, you never know. It oh, then I probably couldn't do it then. But no, but I could. See, the thing is, I could catch a flight and go there if I wanted to because I would have enough money to do that. Remember, I'm not broke. I'm not poor. I have money. It's just that's that's why I would be one of the most wealthy homeless person out there. Or not. There are people who fake it and they live in homes and stuff like too. But the. But I mean, I wouldn't. I would still be actually legitimately homeless, but actually have a fair amount of money and a lot of good stuff to do to live that way. Like a lot of like really good, like you know, thermal underwear and like clothing and weatherproofing clothes and stuff like that. I could actually afford all this shit. They would start to get pretty rank and nasty because I would be sweating in it all the time and barely <laughs> ever able to change my clothes. What but a life. what a life! I'm okay with that because that's kind of like normal for me. See this. This dress is like I've been I've been like clean for a while now because you should see the pit stains and shit stains on it, folks. <laughs> oh, I know, huh? That's why the prince has never. Oh th no! See, I went. I actually I went very thing. I went all out for this costume because the sleeves are transparent. I had to shave. <laughs> wow, you have committed to this. Wow, I shaved my chest because I thought my chest oh would my be more God. exposed. 
<laughs> I didn't wax because Lita was saying I should I needed to wax, but no, because actually I one thing I wasn't able to do is because I was I had I got like uh these pad things to push up my, my actual breasts because I actually do have breasts because I'm fat enough. But the uh but so I was gonna actually use them to accentuate myself. But actually it turns out the way this dress wears I just I, I would have almost need to push it. I actually they're padded, but these are my actual boobs, so <laughs> It was like it was made for you, Bajan. Uh, also, it was. According to Google, Bajan, just for you, if you wanted to walk to Pittsburgh from, where's this starting? From Fresno. It would take you. That's okay. How how, how far do you think? How, non-stop walking. Uh, from Fresno to Pittsburgh. Uh, California to Pittsburgh. I would think, I would think honestly, if because of a drive would take like a days too, I would think. Non-stop. It would take, I, I would probably, I would hope it, it wouldn't take much more than like seven or eight months. Chris, what do you think it would take? Non-stop. This is without breaks. This is if you should just start walking. Non-stop. non-stop. Like we're really not able to sleep without sleeping, basically, right? Yeah. Well, it's not going to say, well, you yeah. need a break after the toilet. It just says how long no, it would take yeah, no, walking no. pace. Um, Disney walking Coke. all the time, normal walking pace, up non-stop. and down mountains, over the river and through the woods. I don't know. Probably like Eight or nine months. 37 days and 20 hours. Wow. So it is totally doable then. Because yeah. like now divide that by eight and then and then like and then you'll find out how many actual days of eight hour days of walking you could actually do. How many miles a day um, do you think you could walk in one go? How many miles do you think you well, could walk? See, that's, 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 uh, uh, I would be exhausted after walking about like uh, 10 or 12 miles. And then I would be like, I would need a long rest. Yeah. <laughs> So that that's, pace, that's, that's a long a fucking walk, dude. Nah. Have you ever walked ten or twelve miles? I walked three miles, and it doesn't bother me. So I, yeah, I figured, day, you know, Chris, that, that can't be, that can't yeah, be. no, but well, but Chris, three miles is nothing. That's nothing. I could easily oh. walk three miles. Now do that four times. And also, you're 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 thinking about just flat ground. If it's flat, yeah, I could probably go foot maybe sixteen or twenty. But like, if you're talking about like in my neighborhood, come over to California and try to go for a walk. My neck of the woods and go for a walk. You are going ridiculously uphill, steep, and and also downhill as well, which is also a strain on your legs. Walking in Pittsburgh, I can walk around the entire city of Pittsburgh, no fucking problem because it's flat as fuck. Um, we were never on. You were never on Mount Washington. Mount Washington's pretty rough. But that's not part of Pitt. That's not in the city of Pittsburgh. It is part of the city of Pittsburgh. Is it? Yes. Oh. Yeah. It's well, right above the tunnels that you said. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, we came Wait, out. the tunnels? The oh. oh, oh okay, okay. Tunnels, and then all of a sudden, at the very end of the tunnels, there's the city and the rivers and beaches. It's like, oh okay, 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 okay. Do you think you could walk across? How long is that? That's probably only maybe like three miles if you went over it. <laughs> you need to do that? Well, uh, uh, three miles of, of where? Of uh, Going over the mountain there. I could do that. There's no, there's you no, say I grew, that. No. I grew up. I grew up in Mount Washington. I, you know, I, I managed the hills. I've walked the hills. So yeah, okay. listen, listen. I'm not making light of what you said. I just thought it was funny at the time. Okay, listen. I know that you're not going to be walking on flat pavement the whole time. I mean, come on. I mean, listen, let's be realistic. I mean, you get mountains to deal with. You know, and then of course deserts and all that shit. So I understand. I just thought it was yeah. fun. Like, well, I can do about ten miles. I mean, I'm- no, no. I said, I, I said, I said, I said, I said twelve. But the uh, and uh, and after that, I'm like twelve <laughs> to sixteen, and I would say it's exhausting because I'm trying to think about the hikes you ain't, I've you gone ain't doing on before. Twelve to sixteen and, miles and it's not- every day for months. No, no way. No, no, you you no, do you no, do no. three weeks and you will be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, oh, I know. That's a push. But see, that's the thing is I, I can pace with it. If it's only 37 days, you think about that. If I spread it out over six months, eh, it's a little more doable, right? I could see. I could. It, well, see, because it kind of makes sense if you Let think about it. Because if, if, you, if you look at the settlers back in the day, they didn't have, you know, they, they went by wagon. But really, they didn't really go really quick. They went at a walking pace pretty much most of the time because... They were there were people guiding the wagons and the horses, so they weren't really going really quick, 
but they weren't going slow either, so it kind of makes sense. If you, you know? were to do that distance, it's about two and a half thousand too... miles to get across, right? If you were to do no, I did. I, if you I, were to do just I did it. I did the math. Seven... I did the math for the hours. If yeah. you if you do about if you walk at a two mile an hour pace the entire time, basically, because that's the average human walking speed, right? Because you did it for walking, not driving, right? Yep. Okay, so then it's like 111 days. So 100... it's about a third of a year. Well, the, but see, if I in, took if I took longer, if I took six months, that's more than half a year. Then I can spread that out a little bit. I don't. I, I don't actually know what Google's walking pace is. I'm not sure on that. But what I can say is, you'd need to do a between six and a half and seven miles a day if you were to do it over one year. That's every single day, no rest days. Yeah. So let's say seven miles a day every day. That's not too year. bad. Do you That's think? That's not too bad. I don't think you could, I don't think people, uh, any of us especially, could do that for a month. Never mind a year. Because think of the blisters. <laughs> think of the sores on your feet. The stuff like think of nipple um, chafing. Well, see again. I'm not like walking <laughs> barefoot. I have the really high quality shoes and the good. But like they they're good really? for they're good for normal sport. But if you try and do anything for an extended period of time, where you're just constant, like have you ever seen the guys who like do stuff like this or like swim the channel or, or something where they're doing a couple of days. Like, I did. I did stuff see starts something kicking like in, You can't even foresee yeah. like, yeah. like you, you start getting like joggers nipple and it's just like, Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I got a um, joggers. I have nipple. somebody who needs to get in here and change their clothes. So, okay. This is not my room. Remember? So okay. but I don't want to turn my camera off, but I'm, yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to go quiet for a bit, but, and I might step away. Hold on a second. Sorry. He, he's going to go, uh, he's going to go, uh, He's gonna he's gonna go and change his You're sanitary. Looking good, Bishan. Yeah. I hope no one walks on camera and starts getting changed right now. Yeah. Because that's gotta go on Patreon if that's gonna happen. Um can I just say, Chris, I don't think there's anywhere on the internet right now that has just watched the Joker and Sleeping Beauty argue about how far you could walk a day across the Yeah, I don't know. I, I, no I, I think it. you're yeah, I think you're right about that. I don't think that there was any any place where you can find that except for here. Only at the comedy pickaxe. Yeah. Right here. Now, with it being the season, Chris, it's Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was asking people about this in work today. Trick or treaters. So normally Halloween, kids turn up at the front door, they knock, trick or treat, yada yada yeah. yada. Right? Right. How does Chris Star deal with a trick or treater? Because there's one way that we normally do it over here, and that is we pretend we're not home. <laughs> so, okay, so what do you in do, my in my neighborhood mm -hmm. here, um, we don't. We, oddly enough, uh, you know, it's a highly populated area, like Cranberry, you know. But uh, in my uh, like housing development where I'm at, we don't have a lot of kids. You know, yeah. it's a lot of older adults and everything like that. You know, or, or people that are just single; and they don't have any children. So what I do is like. Um, I usually go over my brother's, uh, and he has this. Uh, he lives in an area where there's tons of kids and everything like that. So, um, and Bijan will tell you this. Me and you know we get, like I hand out candy, and Bijan did this last year when he was here with me. And and a lot of the kids that come by, they're little kids, so you can't really do anything. Like, you can't scare them. You can't do, like, wow, you know, because they're, like, crying. <laughs> <laughs> ah! so, <laughs> but there are kids that, that are, like, at that age where they walk up to you and you're like, oh, that's a nice costume. And they don't even talk to you. You know, it's like, uh, you know, because they, they're, they're like. I'm here for the candy. Shut up. Yeah, I'm yeah, here for the candy. candy. And I'm just like, bitch. I just want to say, listen to me, you little snot-nosed punk. Oh, my God. You're getting my candy here. I bought this candy for you. Now, you're going to take this candy, but you're going to be nice to me, God damn it. And I, I'm just, some of these kids are rude. You know, I, I, I don't like being, I don't like dealing with uh, rude kids. It's like, listen, if you're not going to say shit to me. After I am nice to you, get the fuck off my lawn. Get the actually get the, get the fuck, fuck off, off my, my brother's lawn. lawn. Get the fuck out of my brother's. That's true. Lawn. I don't think any kids came to your place. So no, no. I I, I explained that we don't. I don't get kids. Okay. Here. You, what you I mean? I, you know. I mean, you you know we're you know we got the single people here. You know. So. so you now speaking of kids, what me. what do you what do you call a teenager who doesn't masturbate? Oh, this is a liar. 
<laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I you that was going to go really horrible. No, see, actually, because that, that, what I was trying to show you, what I was blocking the camera with earlier is the dad <sighs> jokes face off. Fucking right. So I've got cards that we, have tons of jokes on them. Right. We're going to bring a screeching halt to the show. I want to hear some professional dad jokes all the way from these are Sleepy terrible Busy. actually see this is one you've also heard is what's the difference between a lentil and a chickpea i've never had a lentil on my chest hey oh, so, no this oh. one is this is this one is one that is a, why is it so hard for women to find men that are sensitive caring and good looking not everybody's like me no because all those men already have boyfriends <sighs> oh dad jokes <laughs> That's the after Daily. dark edition, right? You got the after dark edition there. Yeah, I want to. I want to mention this before we continue. That you know, our background today is fantastic. It is. It is very different. Oh, it's fucking fantastic. I worked hard on it. I'm sure you did. Yeah, I know. It took me so long to. For uh, once, Walden actually did some work here on the show. But hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just spent so long. I put all the Every- logos on, and and you know, put the spooky, the spooky thing. It's a, Chris the, didn't the, do it at all. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the the, uh, the nice uh, logo with all the hand prints on it and everything like that. It looks like it's reaching through the logo. Yeah, that was good. How'd Thanks. you do that, Thanks. Baldwin? How'd uh, you do that? Uh, uh, Microsoft Paint, funnily enough. It's just super mm. easy. I just hand drew mm. it in paint. Sure. With Speaking of myself, too. Because <laughs> you know what's the, worst, what's the worst thing about dating a blonde? Uh, what? Uh, I, if, uh, if you don't know what hole to put it in, neither do they. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You know what the wow. funny thing is? The point of these things are not that it's for people not to laugh. So you guys are failing, actually. So. Oh, yeah. We've got to not laugh. Oh, this way you like to have water. Uh, no, no, this is the thing where it's actually you get like this game, part of the game. You get like three cards and you have to like pick your targets and stuff like that. So you're trying to make every somebody that you're telling these jokes to laugh. You read all three ones of the, the person and whoever makes the other person laugh more. We should be playing this game. Technically right the winner that round. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, <laughs> what did the banana say to the vibrator? Oh. <laughs> Why are you shaking? She's going to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, this one, this, this, I'm sorry. I was going to say, did you know, um, I'm going to use Chris for this because he's the only one with an apple. Did you know uh, Chris picked up his phone today and he said, hey Siri, why am I still single? And it just turned on the front camera. Oh. Oh. oh! See, I could I could sit back and not get insulted by that because I know that I'm not single. I got a woman who loves me. Well, here you know what? A lot of these a lot of these jokes are sometimes well. a lot of these jokes are sometimes pretty <laughs> sexist. But this one is a little bit more on the lady side. Is why does it take 100 million sperm to fertilize one egg? I don't know because they won't because they won't stop and ask for directions. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ! Oh my God. I got more. I got a whole. I, I could do this all day. I could cards. read some. Read, read some. Well, read well some here's, 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 here's some more. Okay. I'm just going ones. in order, so I'm not like trying to find out good ones. So I'm just picking the next card and seeing what they have. So, like, uh, what do you get when you cross the Atlantic with a Titanic? <laughs> uh... Only about halfway. <laughs> Only about halfway. <laughs> That's good. That's excellent. I love that. Wow. <laughs> What's the difference between a sports car and a porcupine? The uh, porcupine's pricks are on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Worked well for BMW. And then, and then the third one is terrible. Why don't cannibals eat comedians? Oh, you should know that. Because they're a Why? sex offender. <laughs> that would be a better one. Because they, Cause they taste funny. They taste funny. Wow. I've, wah, 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 wah. I've, got, I've just found a website of jokes. Right, this is the laughfactory.com and they've got a they've got a menu here you know. called boycott these jokes. So these apparently okay. we should be boycotting, and you'll know why when I start reading them. Chris, you'll like these. So okay. the, the first one is. Thanks. This is just a more of a statement. It says, "Don't be racist. Racism is a crime, and crime is for black people." <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> Chris would like that one. I like that. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god! Yeah, I also wanted to make, actually. I wanted, I wanted to make a note though about thank you in the chat for fair swig w oh, because we finally we are getting we must be getting a moving up in the ranks because we finally got our first spam chatter yeah to tell you to tell us to like promote our show that they'll promote us for us we were talking about that last week on, uh, on our on our uh game when we got our asses Let's handed play. to us by the by let yeah by um oh, live on tape delay you know what i want to bring that up live on tape delay you know, I I, I want to bring this up to Chris. Uh, I Wilson. did I did hear the clip because yeah, but I uh, yeah. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what yeah. the, the funny thing was they were like they're obviously better than us at Rocket League. I'm not even no. going to attempt to argue it. They, they, yeah. uh, they were way better than us. But you know what the funniest thing was listening back to that is they were concentrating so hard they were silent and we're all like fuck you Chris Bajan you fucking idiot yeah. Walden, move out the way we're just being <laughs> utter idiots and they're like I'm going back I'll stay backwards if you go forward I'm going to put the ball across and they're like I was listening back on damn they really wanted to win this <laughs> yeah I, I was, I this was, like, here's the thing guys I, I thought that we were going to be doing this, um, this sort of thing where we were playing uh, the game you know and we were just like BSing yep. as we were playing but I, as as we went on, and I watched back, I was watching that today, as a matter of fact. And I was like, you know, me and, and, and you and Bijan were all yelling at each other. And I'm like, Bijan, what are you doing? You're in my way, goddammit. <laughs> and, like, and you're like, Chris, you know, shouting doesn't make things better. <laughs> and it's like. I freaked out like in the in the first or second game. I'm like, God damn it! I hate this fucking thing. And Wilson says, God damn, Chris, it's only the first game or second game. Take it easy. But yeah, and, you know, uh, him, I'm like Chris and Rob. Uh, they didn't say much. I'm like, well, they all didn't say much. And I'm like thinking they couldn't get a word in with us fucking three idiots. Well, this, this, this thing is, though, I was thinking about this. I was like, was that the plan to to play and and concentrate so much that you know, we weren't, we were throwing each other off. I, I don't know, because I thought that was just going to be us BS and having some fun and everything like that and swearing and cussing, you know, about, you know, like, ah, oh, shit, this happened, that happened, blah, blah, blah. But those guys, they, they didn't, they proved me wrong. They were very, very professional. Yeah, they were. Yes. All things they, they took it seriously. They yeah. took it very seriously. This is, this is why I say <laughs> that we, you know, I, I actually, I actually reached out to uh, Chris Wilson the day afterwards, mm -hmm. saying that we really enjoyed uh, playing against oh, them. Yeah, it was so much fun. And, uh, you know, I said, you know, on well, I, I don't like to lie, so I, I wouldn't have said that. No. I said on behalf, <laughs> so that's why I said on behalf of Bijan and Walton, we had a lot of fun and we would love to do it again if yeah, you're up for it. And he, he, he was really up for it. He's, he's really. Uh, like immediate, immediate. He's like, if you guys want to humiliate humiliate yourselves again, please, please. I will have yeah, to do that because well, I, don't, see, I really can't care about video games that much. I'll just be like, yeah, I'll, I'll go and play and lose. That's okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and uh, well, see, he he re replied almost instantly. He's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that was fun. It was. Uh, fun. Maybe, but uh, then then I listened to live on tape delay. After, after after he said that, I was like, I was listening to the show, and I was like, Yeah, they were we totally talking dominated. Like we totally dominated the comedy pickaxe, and I'm like, What the fuck? Are yeah. you kidding me? Really? So, but that they recorded, they recorded that, me, Chris. They recorded, me, they recorded that before we even played them. Did they? Yeah, so they record on Wednesdays and they were like, we dominate the comedy pickaxe and then we played them Sunday and then the podcast came out on the Monday. So they were like oh, pre-predicting okay. that we dominate the comedy pickaxe. We made them before. I was like, you fucking uh, motherfuckers. <laughs> see, here's... I know, right? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. So, yeah, no, I, I misunderstood, but here's the thing. I, I will say this. If somebody would get mad at you, Wilson, it would be me. <laughs> but, <laughs> Crazy Chris Star and the joke. No, 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 no. I'm just saying this, you know. If we would have dominated live on tape delay, which we didn't, which we didn't, I, I will say that we didn't. But if we would have, I don't think we would have been as, you know, as, uh, as I don't think we would have been the way that you would have been. See, it, it just shows no class. You guys just have no class. <laughs> We would have been more like, well, you know, uh, we played live on tape delay. They put a fantastic effort forward. 
But unfortunately, you know, we 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 came out on top. But I mean, by no means does that mean we were, you know, by better than them by any means. We were all in it for the fun. That's yeah, kind of how we would have handled well, it, you know. And, 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 but and, and, since they did beat us, I mean, they could just fucking kiss my ass. Fuck yeah, you guys. Like, kiss my ass. Up with that, huh? <laughs> uh, no, Anyways, and, guys, I, I, I hate to I hate to go, but I really I really need to get out of here. We spoke about this earlier. I need to get off this. I need to go. I need okay. to. I need to. I need to go find my princess. I actually, there's a sewing, a spinning, a sewing needle over here. I want to go check out. So, I want. Uh, so, just so stupid. <laughs> but, uh, but before we, before you go, Vision, I just want to say, hey, hey, Chris, I'm, I'm just fucking with you, man. I, we did have a great time, and it doesn't matter. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, we we certainly did. So you guys, you guys won this time, but there's gonna be a part two. We're gonna we're gonna come back. We're yeah. gonna try to come and you're back. gonna win that one as well. We're gonna punch. <laughs> and you're gonna win as well. You hear all the shit talking you want for that one too. <laughs> um, John, just before you go, just for you, Helen Keller walks into a bar, then the table, and then a chair. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. That was perfect. I just I, I approve know. of that message. I approve of that joke. Wow. Well there we go. So well, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually coming to the end of our Halloween show today. Oh no. Oh no, do you not want to finish, Chris? Do you want me to it's play? so fun. Okay. It's so fun. We'll we'll carry on. It, it has been. Don't. I wish yeah. Chris, we will carry on without without Bijan, because Bijan's gotta go, if you don't laugh at this next joke. Okay? You can't laugh. If you laugh, we are ending the show. He's already losing. He's already losing. No, 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 no. So I guess we're ending the show. Yeah. No. Tell me when you're ready, Chris. Mm-hmm. Okay. How does a black girl tell if she's pregnant? When she How? pull when she pulls out the tampon, all the cotton has been picked. <laughs> <laughs> It's the laugh factory. It's the laugh factory. Nice, nice, nice. You knew I was gonna laugh at that shit. I mean, like, god damn it, man. That's not right. That's not fair. I'm not racist like many believe, all right? Okay. Yeah. And my pronouns are the ones I learned in high school. I, I don't want to shut the camera off because it'll totally screw everything you else. Can, all right. You can shut it off. I've got a double camera shot ready. Don't worry. Okay. Well, I, I have to go. I'm sorry I have to go. So I know my listeners. So let me leave you with a few jokes. A few jokes. Okay. Uh, what? What? <laughs> wait, what's an Amish woman's favorite in sexual fantasy? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I two, got <laughs> two Mennonite. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, what's oh, what? This is an old one. What's long, hard, and full of semen? Chris is off. Submarine. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> this one's a good one. What's green and eats meat? Green and eats meat. What? Are you ready for that camera change? Because I'm going to say syphilis. Bijan, what's what? the difference between Jesus and a picture of Jesus? All right, wait a second. What? You oh, can wait, hang no, the picture no. with just one nail. <laughs> wow. Hi. Hi, Bijan. Have a magical day. I'm sorry I have to go. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> okay. See ya. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, Bijan. So, Jesus. is everything, uh, let's see, is everything kosher yeah, on this thing? We're all fine. What's All the right, difference between go. acne and it? what's the religion you don't like, Chris? What? Is I'm not going to say you, that. My Catholic? God, how is that going to help me? Are you Catholic or or like Protestant or what? Am I Catholic? I I was raised Catholic. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's skip that joke then. Uh, <laughs> I'm going through these jokes and now they've got a religious tone to them. I don't. I see, this is this is exactly why I don't want to talk about religion because I would go off on certain religions like I just don't understand it and I don't want to do that. Um, a blind man walks into a fish market and says, "Hello, ladies." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no, no. Uh, see, see, they get worse as you go down here. The top ones, they went straight in with the racist jokes. Don't laugh at this one, Chris. That that was nice. This, that real classy of you, you know. 
What do you call a cheap circumcision? I don't know. A rip off. A what? A rip off. A rip off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that gives me. Oh. Oh, ow. <clears throat> what do elephants use as tampons? I don't know. A sheep. <laughs> sheep. <laughs> uh, I, I've got it. Oh no, I, I'm not going to ask that on the show. I feel like I'm pushing it if I ask that question. It gets a bit too offensive then. Uh, what's black, white, and red all over? Black, white, red all over. I don't know. A nun on don't, period. Wait a minute. This is, uh, what, what is it? A nun on her period. <laughs> This That's is what we it. should. This is what you should do for Halloween, Chris. You, you should just write little jokes and hand those out instead of sweets to all the kids. I'll send you some. I'll, I'll send you some. That you oh yeah, out. that would be smart. That'd be smart Put because it's not bad enough. Shit. It's yeah. not bad enough that you know. I so I, I I go over my brothers to hand out candy, right? And these are all these are all little kids there and walking past. So I give them these dirty jokes <laughs> and so i'm gone right i go back to my place and i probably get a phone call two days from now or two days from halloween from my brother going i have multiple complaints about my child getting some sort of joke that's a messed up dirty joke why would you hand that out and I'd be like, that's Walton's idea. Yeah, yeah, because it's funny. How is a woman like a condom? I don't know. Because they spend more time in your wallet than on your dick. <laughs> well, I mean, that depends on the woman that you're with. That is true. Yeah, that's true. I'm now on, yeah. I'm now on Thought Catalog. So credit Thought Catalog with their shitty jokes. Did you hear about the blind prostitute? No. Well, you've got to hand it to her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> Please do. Um, do you know what, Chris? Something annoyed me today I wanted to bring up, actually. So today, I, before I found this costume buried in a box in my work, I went into like the local shop where they sell all Halloween costumes. And Chris was on video call to me the other week, folks. And he was showing me around this Halloween store. And they had so much fucking stuff, like masks, costumes. Yeah, you, oh, it was, yeah. It was, there was yeah. all sorts in there. I was like, it's fucking crazy. So my local shop where, to where I work, there's one there that's got the biggest variety of like Halloween stuff. And there's only maybe like one half aisle sort of things. It's not, it's not like this whole store that Chris went into. But I was like, okay, it's 29th of October. I'm sure they'll have some masks or some costumes that I could pick up today for the show. So just I get like five minutes before work. So I'm like, right, I'm going to run rounds and I'm going to try and pick something up real quick before I go to work. I walk in, Chris. Bear in mind right now, it's the 29th of October. They yes. have replaced all of the Halloween stuff. Every Christmas. With fucking Christmas shit. Yep. Yeah. It's That's the it. Twenty ninth, you fucking yeah. penis munchers. Where's all my Halloween shit? It's not even here yeah. yet. What yeah, the, yeah. What the? What, did he? Do you? Did he do that in in America? Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, they do it in certain stores. Like oh, uh, God. I know that in Hallmark, uh, they do that halfway through the month, pretty much. Um, and then uh, Walmart, they they do that as well. And I'm like, I was like, it's not even Halloween time. I mean, it's not even over. The month's not even over yet, and they're already stocking up for Christmas. I'm thinking, what? Why? Exactly. Why? Why are you doing this? You're ruining everything. Fucking by the time you get to Halloween, or by the time you get to Christmas, they're saying, "Hey, halfway through the month, or uh, we're gonna we're gonna start addressing, uh, you know, Valentine's Day. Yeah, let's put some Valentine's Day decoration <laughs> up and get these bucket, baskets of chocolate for Valentine's Day. And after that, what do they do? They do a fucking Easter and all of that. So it's oh. in, in, in St. Patrick's Day or whatever. I don't know. Easter, I guarantee, St. Patrick's I Day. But before New Year, our stores will have Easter eggs in them. It's like, hey, it's the 27th of December. Are you ready to buy your Easter eggs? I'm like, <laughs> no, because they'll be fucking off by then. It won't even last that long. 
who goes at Christmas? Like, I don't get the people who are like, right, I want to start thinking about Christmas in October. Like, I understand if you've got kids and you want to sort of, like, spread the cost and start buying presents. I get that. Yeah. But, like, they're selling, like, food. Like, Christmas fucking puddings and fucking big turkeys and shit. And I'm like, I'm not going to yeah. buy it now and store it for fucking two months. What right. a fucking ridiculous thing to do. It's like, oh, uh, do you want your advent calendar? I'm like, no, because it's fucking still October. I've got a whole month before I want to buy that shit, you stupid fucking... And if you buy loads of Christmas snacks, you know, little party snacks and stuff, I'm going to eat them all before Christmas is fucking here anyway. So <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> if I hear one Christmas song before the end of November, I'm going to go mad. I don't. If, if I walk into a shop and I hear fucking Mariah Carey or some Jingle Bells bollocks. All I want for oh, Christmas wow. is you. I'm yeah, just, I, I, I can understand why you guys have guns now at this time of year. It's oh, like you ruin wow. it. But I get. Well, it. we don't. I, I I gotta say, let's not mention any guns right now because we had this issue in Maine within the past week. Oh. Somebody went fucking crazy and shot over twenty some people, and I'm like, uh, and what? it was crazy. Again. They went into like a shopping mall and shot random people. They went to like a, I think a school. I don't know. But over 20-some people were shot dead. What the fuck, so I, Why? I know. I don't know. The, the, the guy said he... I, I guess he left a note because he killed himself, and he said that he was hearing voices. Oh, so, they always are. Yeah, they always are. Do, do, do um, you usually hear in the head, though, Chris? It's never like, maybe you should tie to the kitchen today. It's always like, go yeah. shoot people. I'm like... Go, never, go kill people. I, I, I hey, think, honestly... Tax return? Like, it's not I, a I, nice I voice. I honestly don't understand how it always goes downhill, like when it when you hear voices, because like you know, like exactly. you never really hear a good voice. You always hear a bad voice. Like yep. if I wanted to hear, like let's say if if somebody says, you know, to me, Chris, uh, you know, I have a medical condition where later in life you'll hear voices. I would hope, for God's sake, they would be telling me jokes. Instead of telling me to kill people, you know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. like, why don't we ever get? Why don't we ever get stand-up comics who say, you know, I have uh, schizophrenia, and uh, my, you know, the voices in my head are, you know, coming up with new material for me every day. You know, and it's fantastic that I have this extra person in my head. No, you never hear that. Yeah, you never, never do. Never easy. You always hear about the axe murderer mm -hmm. who says that he's either talking to a dog. <laughs> or, you know, like he, he's the hearing voices from whatever. some weird cat staring at him. And, you know, uh, every every night at like three thirty three, he wakes up and uh, there is a owl sitting in the window looking at him, saying, "Go kill people! Go kill it's people!" Always, it's always to kill people, and funnily enough, it's always in America as well. <laughs> you never see some yeah. guy in the, like I'm, in the middle of like you know a secluded island somewhere with a population of like eleven people who goes, "I got a voice in my head that told me to fly over to California and kill people." It's always like, "No, no, the voice in my head wants me to kill people just around here." I'm, yeah, I'm, I never, that's I never hear it. No. I never hear it from the UK or Canada or anything like that. It's always in the United States. We don't have guns, Chris. That's why no one has a gun in this country. It doesn't matter, no. It, not just that. No, no, I'm not just saying, you know, I know you guys don't have guns. But what I'm saying is there's other crimes that could be committed and you could just blame it on people, you know, saying, oh, I hear voices. Yeah, that's well, never right. Wow. That's never the case anywhere else. Not, like most of the time when you're in the UK... The, the violence that is brought on is because people are just pissy. Yeah. They're just people like, you go to Ireland, there's a prime example. Don't fuck with the Irish. You know what I mean? No, they're crazy. Well, yeah. Anyway. They're but, fucking uh, crazy. So, yeah, but it's always like, yeah, there's never a good voice. There's never just like, never. hey, never. why don't you go and donate a bunch of money to a charity today? It's like, oh, why the voice? I just felt compelled to come down here and give you guys, for, you know, a hundred dollars with, with your with your church group. Or, or oh. hey, or hey, you know what? We don't know how to do. We don't know how to swing dance. Let's take some swing dance lessons. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you know? like it's been such a lifetime since I had ice cream. Should we go to get ice cream? <laughs> like, no, the voice is always fucking mental. Mental. 
I've never. I, if I ever get to the point, Chris, where I turn around and say I'm hearing voices, just fucking shoot me. And I'm asking uh, you because, you, like, you're one of only a few Americans I know, so you'd be the best at it. But you know, well, I would be the best at it. Yeah, why? Because I, I'm, I'm just America. You know, <laughs> America. You know, and I got you know, I say Nam instead of Nam because yep. I, you know, you know, Vietnam. Vietnam. I've been on Nam. Uh, do Canada not have guns? No, they don't. I don't think so. No. And yeah. even if they did, they wouldn't shoot you. But oh, wait a minute. No, no. You know what? I don't think I don't think the the Mounties carry guns, but I do know the citizens can get guns because what? we have a friend. If, if if you remember Dylan, who lived oh, in Canada, yeah. Dylan yeah. Lang, he was uh, one of our uh, people that used to listen to the show all the time, and he helped and he was helping us with the the Back to the Future twenty twenty five. He had a whole bunch of shotguns, and they ended up putting a. a, a they enforcing a, a law in Canada where they, you know, he has to register the shotguns or he has to give up a couple of the shotguns or because he's only allowed to have like one. And I'm like, <laughs> but that's how many, fucked up. how many shotguns does a person need? Well, you know, I mean, I I, I agree. I, I, I know don't... the answer. The answer is zero. Yeah, no zero. <laughs> right. Exactly. But if you need one, then get one. I understand that. But I, given, I, I think he had like, I don't know, three. See, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I know that it did not make him happy when they were enforcing the gun law. He I'd, was like, oh, they're not taking away my weapons. So I'd I'm be like, more right. pissed. I'd be more pissed, like, because the government are trying to take away something I already own. Like, if they were like, oh, you'd only allow one car and we had three, I'd be like, you're not taking two of my cars. I fucking bought them, they're mine. Like, right. I'm, I'd be more pissed for that rather than it's a gun. Like, if you did, if the government did that to anything, they turned around and said, oh, you're only allowed three chairs in your house. And you've got seven. I'm going to come and take a bunch of your chairs away. I'd be like, no, you're not. You can go fuck yourself. How about that? I, but you don't yeah. need you don't need seven chairs. I was like, that's none of your business. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. That's why. That's why I don't carry a gun. I, I don't believe in guns. I use a knife. I use a knife Jesus because you know <laughs> because you really get a chance to know someone with a knife, right? You can get up close and personal, and you can hear them beg for mercy Give when you start smile. Cutting, cutting away. You know. Have you ever stopped anything? Uh, no, no, I haven't. Because you should, no. you should get like a a joint of like beef or something, and just stab it so you know what it feels like. Why would I want to stab a piece of beef? Because well, all right, but I mean, don't do it to a human. But you want to know what that feeling's like, right? Just let me tell you something. Let me tell you this. You stop waving you... a knife at me. <laughs> fucking crazy. Dressed as a joker. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, better watch it. I'm gonna fly over there and stab you with my knife. How's it going? Tell your tell your people they work for me now. Tell your people I got a two inch knife. Who's the boss tell your, now? Tell your people they work for me now. This is actually <laughs> this is actually one of my dad's uh, old knives, and it's it's actually a uh, it was for hunting, you know, and it, it was it's a good knife actually. I do like a good knife, like not for like you know stabbing people. I don't do that anymore. Um, no, anymore, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gave that up too after yeah, the police yeah. had a problem with it. There's just too much cleanup. No, um, but like <laughs> when I used to go like fishing or like if you're opening parcels and stuff, to have a nice knife that you just like whip out. That's my phone, Chris. Don't worry. That you just like okay. whip out and like, like I used to go fishing and cutting fishing line, pain in the ass. But if you got a nice sharp knife and you just just kind of go and it just slices through it like it's a piece of cheese. <laughs> It's, it's it's really satisfying to cut things with a sharp knife. I used to have this friend. Uh, I remember I remember it like yesterday. His name was uh, I'm not going to mention his last name. His, his first name was Andrew. And uh, when Andrew. we were kids, Andrew. And when uh, when we were kids, he he was all about the military and playing guns. Like I mean, if, if nobody like. My brother and I were raised to play, you know, sports like hockey, football, baseball, outside. Just, you know, this is what you did. And when, Normal when, people when, things. In the summertime, that's what you did. And in the wintertime, you know, watch TV, play some Nintendo, whatever, okay? But Andrew, on the other hand, and his family, they were military people. You know, his father was in the military. His mother was part. She did stuff for the military. 
uh, and they, they had grandparents that were in the military. So obviously, you know, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree when it comes down to the military. So when we would get together, you know, let's play war. Let's play guns. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I'm like, okay, we'll Psycho. do this. But as we as we got older, as we got older, uh, the gun, you know, playing war and guns, of course, went out the way out the window, you know, the way of the dodo. But the one thing that Andrew always had, he always had a nice knife, and he would all like every year he would get a different knife, and the knives would get bigger and bigger and bigger. And what's scary about this was he would always be sharpening these knives and just <laughs> like examining the knives to see how sharp they were. Psycho. And it, it was, yeah, it, it, after a while, it got to be a little bit freaky. I knew people that were hanging around me. I would talk to new, like to girls and everything and they would meet him and they'd be like, you know, your friend Andrew's nice, but what is with the knife thing? Because, you know, and I'm like, you know what? You can't oh, pay attention. Stabby Andrew? It. Yeah, Stabby Andrew's a great friend of mine. Abby Andrew, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. great. I don't know what, what you mean. What's wrong with him? I don't know what he's talking well, about. Well, you know, I, I, I will say, though, uh, I, I, I do know for a fact that he eventually, after after college, went to uh, he went Jail. to the military oh. <laughs> and served, uh, I think, two terms, uh, two tours, and uh, then he came back with uh, PTSD. So now... <laughs> Right. Now this is this is what the military did to him, you know. Jesus Christ! So I'm, that, I'm not. I didn't say his last name. I did not say his last Stabby name. An, Stabby Andrew. Now he's going to start hearing voices because he's got PTS fucking D. We're off. Run! Don't go near Stabby Andrew, folks. He'll get you. <laughs> he's going to start hearing I mean, voices. I'm not. I'm not putting him down. I'm just saying this is what happened. You know. I mean. No, that sucks. Where did he serve? Like Afghanistan? I I, I don't I, Iraq, I don't know. as you guys call it. I don't know exactly. I, I know that he he went and uh, there was a Jesus. he he was a. I know that somebody wrote a book that he was he was uh, serving with, and uh, they they included him as a part of this book. Um, it, it was it was a true story of what, what was going on over there. I didn't read the book, but he's in the book. And, uh, but no, I just, I tried to reach out to him as a matter of fact. And it's been years since we saw each other. And I, and I you know, I, I said, Andrew, hey, you son of a bitch, what's happening? You know? And he, he totally ignored me. And oh, I didn't think, nice. he, I, I didn't think he knew who, who it was because, you know, I was, my, my name is spelled differently. And I, you know, it's like, I, I don't obviously I don't look the same the way I did back then and and so I told him exactly who I was and he didn't respond. <gasps> so I I kind of like took insult to that, Stop you know. Be Andrew. And and uh and so uh, <laughs> how rude, so, Stabby Andrew. So so I I, I kind of looked at his Facebook page and what did I see, Walton? What did I see? I'll tell you what I fucking saw. What did you see? Chris? I saw I saw good old Andrew in a safari outfit. You know, uh -huh. and I see, yeah. I see him holding a big old shotgun, and he's standing over a a a, a fucking a, a fucking hippopotamus, <laughs> and it's and it's like the tongue is sticking out, and he's oh. smiling, he's smiling, and then I see another. Are you ready for this? Oh, no. He's he's standing next to a, an, an impala that he shot. And then I see the another car? picture, and, this, and then this is another one. This is this is another one that this is just the the king of all, all of all things that just made me laugh. He's standing above a giraffe, a giraffe, ladies and gentlemen. Why do you need to fucking shoot a giraffe? I hate people. Who a giraffe. Go fuck yourselves, all of you. Every you single know, one of you. Go fuck yourself. You know what? Here's 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 what I say to people like you who do this shit because you say, "Oh, it's a sport." No, it's not. It's not a sport. It's for people with little dicks who need to feel like they got big dicks, yep. or the ones that have yep. you know erection problems, erectile dysfunction. When Cialis and Viagra doesn't work for you anymore, Shoot what you do is you go and you go to to like Africa 
and you start shooting these big animals. It's but you know, I see what really brings on the erections, the big erections. You gotta shoot a defenseless animal such as a fucking giraffe. Fucking idiots. <laughs> Yeah, fucking Captain America, motherfuckers. You know, I, I can't stand these fucking assholes that act like this. You know, Killing a giraffe? A giraffe! A giraffe eats plants! It doesn't do anything but eat plants, and it's it just walking along. Do, 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 do. So, I mean, seriously, fuck, man. Fuck, fuck, go fuck yourself. I hate yeah. people to do that. Don't get it. Don't get it at all. So thank you for watching a comedy pickaxe. We do enjoy all the viewers and everything that uh, we have each and every week. Yeah, and, don't shoot uh, giraffes or animals. Don't, don't shoot anything. Don't shoot, yeah, don't shoot a fucking giraffe. You fucking lame motherfucker. And and because we are a comedy show, I know we're kind of doing this every week where we're talking about deaths and stuff now. But I did want to do one mention this week: the the brilliance, the great everyone oh, who's man. a fan of Friends. Yeah. Matthew Perry, Chandler Bing from Friends passed away, I think, literally yesterday. Of yeah, he did. Do you want to know how? Suspected drowning, it's being reported at the moment. In his hot tub. Yeah, yeah. In his fucking hot tub. Sucks. Who fucking drowns in a hot tub? I was 54? talking about that with... 54, I think. Yeah, it was. 54. Fucking I was talking about that with, uh, with uh, Kelly and Riley last night, and I said, Matthew Perry died... He drowned in a fucking hot tub at his Los Angeles home. And Rodney looks at me and she's like, how can that happen? I said, I don't know. Well, he has a lot, <laughs> I he have, have a no lot idea. Issues. A lot of issues and who knows. But but anyway, um, yeah, Friends, one of, one of the TV shows, if I'm just yeah. like what doing stuff and I just want to put something on in the background, it, it's normally either The Big Bang Theory or Friends, depending on hey, what well, I'm in. I'll be there for you. Oh. Thank you. Thank hey, you. you deserve that, man. Thank you deserve you. that. That was good. You're welcome. That is good. But yeah, fucking brilliant. Chandler Bing, probably one of the, the funniest characters. Yeah. No, wasn't my favorite character on Friends, but it was fucking probably up there. Definitely up there. He's brilliant. Who was your favorite character on Friends? Monica. Monica? Yeah, Monica's fucking just... <laughs> It's brilliant. My my favorite comedy line ever in anything I've ever seen was when they were doing the quiz and uh, they were doing the quick fire round at the end and time ran out and Monica realized she'd lost her apartment and she just go just just looks and just goes no and just the the delivery of it and the timing and the intensity because she's just this little fucking nerd who's trying to be cool. But it's like OCD yeah. on the spectrum, yeah. fucking God knows what. And the way Courtney Cox played it, it was just yeah. a fucking genius. And that when I first saw that, I spat out so much of my drink. It's just fucking brilliant. It was brilliant. I think I really liked Lisa Kudrow as Phoebe. <clears throat> that, that, that was always oh, yeah. fun for me. Like her her crazy songs, like Smelly Cat. Oh, and, you know, uh, just some of the things that she said was just like... Shoe. <laughs> What are you talking about? Do you know what though? It's saying this. I say all oh, favorite character and all this. I, I, when I really think about it now, I don't think I actually have a favorite because they're all they all have their own differences, which makes yeah, they them have a, the best at right. all different things. Like Chandler Bing, one liners, silly oh, jokes. Yeah. I could probably I'm probably closest to Chandler Bing in real life than any of the other yeah. characters and friends. Because of his just stupid jokes. All right, mine might be more slightly. Well, offensive, it goes you know. without saying. It goes without saying that you're more like him because I and I and I possibly I might be more like Ross because I get annoyed easily with you and Vijan being the way you do, and I get I I hear it all the time like like Wong's an instigator. I yeah. hear it all the time, and I'm like, yeah, he is <laughs> instigator. But yeah, but rest in peace, Matthew Perry. But uh, yes. I'm very sad to hear about that. But what, yes. what a what a what a character, what a yeah. guy. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's not it's no age. That's no age. That fifty four is way too young, man. That's fucking ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, so there we go. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching our. I hope you're impressed with our Halloween episode. Chris, I hope so. We yeah. all made we all made an effort. 
I have to take this mask off yeah. because I don't know what's inside it, but it's making my face better. Can you see? I don't know if you can see on camera. Can you see? Like the, I've got this like red mark around my face where I've had the mask. No, I, 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 no, it's not noticeable. I don't see it. Oh, that's. Good. Oh wait, by your eyebrow, I do a yeah, little bit. So yeah. You got the dodgy yeah. camera twitch. Might be able to see it like a little bit more. But yeah, I got these marks on my face too. I don't know how I'm gonna get them off. I don't know. <laughs> just some, just some. Needle and thread, you'll be fine. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, once again, uh, thanks to Live on Tape Delay for playing against us in uh, on uh, you know uh, Rocket League. That was fun, and uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just messing with you guys. Oh. You guys, you guys had a lot of good. We had a lot of good times with you. It was fun, and I want to do it again, definitely. I've got an issue, Chris. Before we round out the show. What's so, up? So you know you called me out the other week. He's like, why'd you look up when you're doing the outro? And I'm like, because I've, my whiteboard is there with all of my notes on for what I need to say, which yeah. is true, folks. But uh -huh. if you notice, I've changed my background light. So you can't see it that well, it's can in, you? It's in red, my light. I've changed it to red for the show. <laughs> the ink that I've wrote on the whiteboard is, is red. And I've just looked up. I can't see fucking things. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to do this so, on the fly. I'll do it on the fly. It'll be all right. So... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to episode 90 of the Comedy Pickaxe. Next week, episode 91. Uh, we're very close to 100 episodes. I'm real excited yeah. to, to do 100 episodes of something. And we, If we make it, that is. We'll see. No, we'll make it. Don't say that, because we made it to uh, we made it with the uh, Minecraft. We did. Yeah. Which we will, when we uh, when we finally get all our ducks in order, because everyone's real busy at the minute, we are going to have a bit of a podcast meeting and discuss what n other content we can bring I am going to definitely want to bring back Minecraft as the comedy pickaxe. And I definitely want to try and do D&D &D again one day, Chris. But I'm sure we'll uh, we'll have meetings about what we can be uh, what we can be doing very soon because we've got Patreon to fill as well. But until then, stay tuned, folks, to all of our stuff. Remember, every single Sunday, Twitch stream, our live show. And if we do games, we'll also do some of that as well. And then every recorded show will be released the following Wednesday. Uh, video format is on Spotify and on YouTube and on audio platforms. We also have the audio show, um, Google, uh, Amazon, Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, whatever it's called over there, uh, Stitcher, yeah, all of the podcast platforms you can find us as well. If you want to find links to all of our stuff, it's dead easy. Just go to our website, thecomedypickaxe.com, where you can find links to contact the show, for example, which our email address on there is just thecomedypickaxe at gmail.com. Uh, send us any messages you want. You can send us voice notes to be played on the show as well. You can also do that by clicking the link below the Spotify description if you are listening on Spotify. On our website is also links to things like our merch store, which Chris works very hard and has a lot of new T-shirt designs coming soon. Uh, maybe we'll just get the one of Chris dressed as the Joker flashing his knife, which he's still doing on camera for those who are watching the video show. Uh, so you can find all of that as well, our Spotify playlist um, and all of the links to our social medias, which is Facebook, Instagram, X, which is formerly Twitter, and TikTok. There we go. That wasn't bad, seeing as I can't see my board. And I tell you what, that was pretty good. Right? One last thing, everybody. If you got to go, go with a smile. That's yeah. what I see. There we go. So, folks, I'm going to switch to the outro now. And Bijan's gone, so the cameras might mess up. I'll try and edit it before the show finishes. But bear <laughs> with me. But, uh, yeah, so you'll still be able to hear us like this. Look, yeah, see, it's all yes. fucked. See, there we go. Hey, uh, can we get Chris's camera oh, before it ends? Chris, Chris, he's over here. Ladies and gentlemen. Go. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's great. Thank that's, you. That's very really good. Thank you for yeah. listening. No one noticed anything there. No one noticed that at all. Thank you for listening. This is watching. typical Halloween shit, you know? Like, oh, there we are. There we go. Dude. We'll see you next week, folks. Adios, motherfuckers. Adios, motherfuckers. <laughs>